this is going to be a fun video. Uh, my friends over at Cast King, they sent me a rod and reel of, of my choice. And uh, we're going to go test it out. Go throw it around, see what we can catch. Uh, try, I'm going to try to get into a couple different things. There's some dogfish sharks still biting. I think the tog are still here too. Uh, so we'll try for them as well. But I'm going to kind of explain the setup that I picked uh, while I'm out fishing. Before I head down there, I'm going to show you the reel. The reel is a Capstan Elite. And I got it in the 5000 series. And this thing is a monster. I'm going to talk more about that and the rod when we get down there. So let's head down to Ocean City and get some fishing in. We're down on 9th Street right now. That's just all the remains of the storm from yesterday. Pretty much rained all day. Um, but anyway, okay. Oh, got my cameraman with me. <laughs> Someone's homesick from school. Yep. So he gets to go fishing. All right. Uh, I'm going to talk the, uh, the rod real quick. Okay. It is a, it's made by Cast King and it's the Kong. It's a fast action, medium, heavy line can go 15 to 40 pounds. And, but the one that got me the most is the lower weight, two to eight ounces. I would say with this rod, though, they basically, they said that I could pick out any rod that I wanted. So when I, I was looking at them, uh, I went through and I saw a couple of saltwater ones, but I liked this one uh, because of the, the, uh, the lower weight. With the weight that it is and the fishing that I do, whether it's in the bay or if you're going to go in the ocean or even offshore, this can go offshore too. Uh, but it, I would say you can definitely catch sea bass on this if, you're, if, you're, if you can drop 8 ounce lead. So... Uh, I would say for, for my style of fishing, this is, you could take this anywhere, anywhere in Ocean City. You could go on the boat in the bay, catching flounder, you could take it offshore, you can take it into the surf, anywhere. So I think the versatility wise, this rod I think is, is perfect for anything here. So that's why I picked it. Normally when I'm doing this style of fishing, I'll bring a couple different rods with me. If I'm going down to the inlet down there to catch tog, I'll use a bigger rod. I'm only going to use this one today and we're going to check it out and see how well it does. Uh, the, the reel is uh, fully salt water. Uh, you can actually submerge it in salt water if you want to. I don't know why you would, but you can. Um, the drag is a 40 pound, which is like extreme. Uh, it's got the heavier handle to it and it's super smooth. The, uh, the rod, one of, one of the big things I like in the rod is this grip right here. You can see the spiral. And when you hold it and get that grip, it feels good. So we're going to get set up and then we're going to see what we can catch. All right, here we go. Got uh, bait today is going to be clams, salted clams, I should say, uh, squid. And I got some sand fleas if we get into some tog and stuff later. So here we go. First cast out. It is cold today with the wind blowing. I'm going to let that drift for a little bit. Four ounce uh, sinker, pyramid sinker is what I've got. So I'm going to put this over here. Another thing I do like is that neon tip. That thing is sweet. You definitely see it. It's meant for like low light, which is really cool. I do like that. First one. Here we go. Usually they they will come in, they'll swim towards you, and then they start freaking out. So it feels like a really, really small one, but you never you never know. Let's see if we can see him. Yeah, there it goes. It's actually a decent sized one. So I got my pliers right up here, and I'm just gonna try to try to hook them take them out just like this there he goes rebate send it back out Let's say that rod handled beautifully but that reel that reel is absolutely nuts i love it i i think this is my new favorite setup 
I've got some good ones that I really like to fish with, but this one, I, I love it. Get this line tight. Uh, just a quick side note. If you are gonna come down here and you are gonna fish for these, uh, please be careful. They do have venomous spines on their back. Uh, there's one by their tail and there's one on their top fin. Uh, and then it's not gonna kill you, but you will be in some pain if you if you get stung by them. So uh, what, they, what they try to do is whip you with their tail to try to get you. So just, yeah, be, be careful. If there's one, there's gotta be a couple more. So we should be on again soon. Looks like we got a good one on. This one's pretty, pretty feisty. Yeah, this is a bigger one. Uh, uh, come on. I hope it's not tail wrapped. No, he's just really angry. Really angry. That's a small one, but he is mad. All right, get him up, up and in. There he goes. Well, I'm rebaiting up here. The rigs that I use for this are my just standard high-low rigs. You can get them uh, actually on my website, realjb.com. And yeah, it's a pretty simple rig. Uh, it's just got two hooks on it and in Maryland. You cannot fish with three hooks. Uh, you can have two treble hooks, two circle hooks, two regular hooks, whatever, whatever you want. You can only have two hooks. Uh, so this has two hooks, and uh, it's their 4-0 circle hooks is what they are. So it's just a two, uh, two rig system, and that's it. All right, cast it back out. I'm on 9th Street in Ocean City, Maryland. That's where I'm at. If you're not familiar with this area, this is the bay, the Ocean City Bay, and it goes down to the bridge down there, and then you hook a left, and that's the inlet. You'll see it in a second when we go down there to fish, and uh, that goes out into the Atlantic Ocean. So the Atlantic Ocean is actually right at the end of the street right there. All right, here we go, next one's up. Yep. All right, Nikki. Start reeling, buddy. Fight. He's putting up a huge fight. Yeah. He's taking some drag. He's a pretty good one. Oh, he's a feisty one, too. All right. Keep bringing them in, bring them in a little closer. All right, right here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. He pulled his red. He did, yeah. All right. Ugh. He pulled it hard, he just sunk down. Here, keep reeling it in a little bit. Yep, and then hold the rod right there. Watch out, go this way. He just sunk me down. Same, uh, same quick release as the other ones. All gone. Nice work. <laughs> that boy was feisty. He was a feisty one. He, he was angry. Sunk. He just sunk. You got him in though. You got him in pretty quick. Yeah. All right. We're going to change up spots because it's cold here and it's windy. So we're going to head down towards the inlet and uh, do some fishing down there. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. All right, spot change down at the inlet. This is what I was talking about, the inlet. This goes right out into the Atlantic Ocean. 
So we're gonna try this. This is never something I would ever try with a shorter rod. I would do a minimum of 10 feet, but we're gonna do it with this one and see if it works. I have four ounce lead on there, so it'll handle it just fine. We'll see if we can get a tog or two in the rocks. Tighten my drag all the way down. That's what you wanna do with tog. If not, they'll take you right into the rocks. I don't feel anything biting. I found a decent hole. I'm gonna keep, keep finding new holes if I have to. There's, there's one right there. I see these guys every every fall. It's like a group of them, the jet skiers. Oh, here we go. Oh, Nick, where's your bait? Found him. Switch to an offset hook. We'll see if that kind of makes a difference. It's a good thump. Big toadfish. I knew that bait would catch something. Big, disgusting toadfish. Can you get me the fish grips and the pliers? Big, nasty toadfish. Uh, we were down at the Coast Guard station not too long ago, a couple uh, a couple weeks ago. I caught a 13-inch toadfish. It was at my personal best. If you have a trash fish category of best fish, like, yeah, that thing was, it was crazy. Get him away from us. Put them down here. You got a small one? Yeah. Give me a small one. Now I found some more big ones. Let's try this small one. Just want to catch one tog on this on this rod. It's like all I want. A small one. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take that any day of the week. That's nice. a little, little tiny one. That's a tog. Let's try to get a bigger one. It's a little small tog. I'll take that any day of the week. A little small one. Same hole if you've watched any of my other TOG videos. When I find a hole, I fish the hole till there's nothing left. If there's one, there's a whole bunch. Yeah! Yes! Another one. Much bigger one. Is that That's a big TOG. We can take that. Here, hold the rod right there. We can take it any day. I'll take that any day too. Not a keeper. Uh, but I will definitely take that any day of the week. Still a good one. I like that one. There we go. Nice tog on the on the cast king rod. Throw him back in. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. That rod handled perfect. I would say just as good as my uh, my 10 foot rod that I always use. That was awesome. I'm gonna try another one. It's another big one, watch out. Nice. Let's take this one, grab my uh, pliers and fish grips. I want to get a, a measurement on this because because we already caught three. Yeah, we caught some decent ones, but I definitely want to measure it. The teeth, man! Look at the teeth. Yes. Okay, here we go. Twelve inches. Nice. 
I'd say that rod handled great. Another good one. All right. Let's get out of here. You ready to go? Should we call it a day? Calling it a day. Got two, two good sized tog, three a small sharks. one, three sharks. I think it's a pretty good day. All right, so that's it. I would say it was pretty successful. Um, a couple sharks, a couple tog. Did really well. Uh, this setup, this casking setup, or anything on casking, if you want to purchase this or anything else, uh, be sure to use my promo code. It's J J A Y K K. It'll save you some money. Uh, just use my promo code J K K, uh, and it'll save you some money. Get a get a discount for all your stuff. Uh, casking, I love it. I will do a future video of everything that I own from Casking because uh, I do love their products a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it. So yeah, good video. All right, we'll see you next time.